Hi everybody, I'm KHOU 11 meteorologist Pat Cavlin here with an update on the tropics. We are in week two of the 26 long hurricane season in the Atlantic and so far things have been pretty quiet. We haven't had any storms develop so far this season and as we check out the outlook over the next seven days, nothing is expected to develop at all. So typically during the month of June, we actually look to the Gulf and the Caribbean as our hot spots for development. And that reason is twofold. One, we get late season fronts that come far enough south that add just enough spin to the atmosphere that sometimes weak systems develop, especially in the eastern Gulf. And then the other factor is the Central American gyre. Basically, the rainy season gets going in Central America. You get clusters of showers and storms that develop. And if they can move over the open, warm waters of the Caribbean, you'll get a storm that can sometime get, uh, sometimes get pulled up uh, to the north towards the United States or towards the greater Antilles. Uh, but as we look back over the last 125 years, going all the way back to 1900, this is the uh, list of hurricane landfalls that we've had in the United States. And I know the map looks busy, but really it's not that much. When you consider we're going back 125 years, we've only had 12 landfalling hurricanes in the United States. Now, a pretty interesting thing to note is the clustering of these. You can see there's about four over towards the eastern Gulf, but much, much more crowded with eight landfalls across the western Gulf. The interesting, the other interesting thing is there hasn't been a landfalling June hurricane since Bonnie moved through southeast Texas in 1986. Before that, it was a lot of early 1900 storms that impacted the middle and upper, or rather the middle and the lower Texas coast. So that's just a little bit of history. Now let's talk about what's going on right now. While we're quiet in the Atlantic, things are starting to heat up in the eastern Pacific. We've got two systems here, Cosme and Barbara. Those are the last two named systems that were out there. So notice they're already on their third storm, the C letter of their alphabet. And then we've also got two areas to watch behind that. So it doesn't look like things are going to be slowing down in the Eastern Pacific anytime soon. And that actually may be a good thing for us. Why is that? Well, it has to do with the way the atmosphere is connected. Typically, when you get storm systems that develop in the eastern Pacific, think about these storms are huge, right? And they have a lot of impact on the atmosphere around them, even if there is a large land mass separating the two basins. So we've got the Pacific Basin and the Atlantic Basin. Well, typically when these storms develop, the exhaust from these storms creates a lot of wind shear, and that wind shear gets pulled into the western tropical Atlantic, so areas like the Gulf and the Caribbean. And that wind shear can be a big limiting factor in any type of development that happens in our neck of the woods. So that factor is in for the western Atlantic. So what about the eastern Atlantic, the main development region? Well, typically this time of year in June, the reason why we don't see any uh, development normally out here is because we usually get high concentrations of Saharan dust, and that's exactly what's going on right now. Dust from the Sahara Desert is blowing off the African continent and moving across the Atlantic, and that dust is a big limiting factor in any type of tropical development. As you can see, over the next uh, week or so, that dust will continue to move its way not only across the Atlantic, but eventually into the Caribbean and even into the Gulf here as we get towards the beginning of next week. So the wind shear from the Pacific, the dust from the Atlantic, really keeping a lid on things as we move through the second week and eventually into the third week of the Atlantic hurricane season. But that being said, a quiet start to the season does not correlate to a quiet active part of the season. That is when we get into the more typical active months, which are July, August, and September. So even though we're off to a quiet start so far, stay on top of your hurricane plans and on top of the forecast as we go through the summer.